today we're up at 4 a.m. because Zeb is going to ride from our home in Tuxedo to where we used to go to school at App State in Boone, North Carolina. His ride is going to be 180 miles and almost 20,000 feet of climbing, so it'll be his biggest ride he's ever done. <laughs> How do you feel? Great. Okay. It's 5.01. One minute late. Yeah. Fine, I'll see you in a couple hours. Here I come. I'm gonna go meet Zeb at the parkway. There he is. I'm gonna meet Zeb up here. Every time I meet him, I'll give him a bottle of Gatorade and a bottle of water. And there's a whole lot of snacks in here. A cliff bar for the first hour, a second cliff bar for the next hour, and then a Lara bar and a gel shot for the third hour. So it'll be about 250 calories an hour. His goal is under 12 hours. Look who it is. Oh, good. Feels pretty easy. Of course it is, it's only 40 miles, <laughs> so. Bye. This is a really beautiful morning. actually worried that I've been like a little overhydrated, especially in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I literally peed so many times that I left the house. <laughs> it's 30 miles from here to the top. Say, so I love your bike. I don't know. Did I tell you about the bear hunters I saw? Mm -mm. Uh, I was like making fun. I was like, hey man, you gonna give me a head start? Because he was like using the thing, like looking for his dogs. And I thought they was like getting ready to let his dogs out. And he was like, boy, I'll eat you for dinner. And oh my like, God. <laughs> Joking with the guy. Oh, what's up, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. And um, that's probably happy. Oh, I guess we'll get going. Maybe I'll catch him. So this is where you might call Zeb crazy because he could have just kept going straight down the parkway, but instead he's taking a over four mile detour to the summit of Mount Mitchell, which is a thousand extra feet of elevation just so that he can get to the highest point on the East Coast. This is water. Okay. Yeah, almost 200. That distance and time-wise, I'm a little over halfway, hopefully. Yeah. So. Okay, well, I'll see you around like mile 120. and Deb's probably at the top of Mount Mitchell right now. I drove about 30 miles down the road and now I'm biking back to meet him. And he'll be probably at mile 120 or something. Hopefully I can give him a little bit of company and encouragement to get these last final 80 miles. It's a lot of miles. <laughs> He's doing great though. Here I am. Look at him, 120 miles. Four and a half or five hours left after 120 miles. Let's see how many miles I've done. Oh, 10. And you're playing the sunscreen. Yeah, this will probably be the last time I have to do it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Look at this contraption he's got. I'm gonna ride with it plugged in so that it doesn't mm -hmm. die. 
I'm sweatier than Zeb, but I've ridden like a fifth of the distance. And he's almost reached his farthest mileage ever, which is 140. I have a Pop-Tart present. I've ridden 30. He's ridden 141.8, which is more than his previous record of 141.2. Almost there. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, pal. Okay, I'll see you in Boone. Bye. It's raining now, but I barely got back to my car before the rain started, and I'm hoping that Zeb is not in the rain because it looks like there's blue skies up ahead. So. I'm gonna drive straight to Boone and I should meet him there pretty soon. Oh, you beat me.